Okay, boom. The power linguist is back at you. A little something here that I that I uh, need to clear up and explicate a little further. But before I do that, the normal preface of real name and real photo to make comments. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But how about this hardest language in the world thing? All right. Now, I talked about that in another video, the world's hardest language. Now, this is either the world's second hardest language or probably the world's hardest language for L1 English speakers. And this language is, there's different, many different names for the language, as the researchers have named it different things. But da is the, is the easiest <laughs> way to, to say the language. This is a real mess of a language for an English speaker. Why is that? You might want to ask me. Well, let me tell you that it has 164 different consonants. It has 111 clicks. There's more types of clicks than that. That's all I can make hope right now. Hope you've uh, heard some of that. And it has uh, tones depending on the dialect between two to four tones. It also it uses serial verbs, which I talked about before, and it also has prepositions which change depending on what they're, what they're used for. They can, and reduplication. Reduplication is just saying the same thing twice. That happens in a lot of languages, uh, like uh, DB in um, Thai means good, very good in uh, Vietnamese it means run, <laughs> but when you reduplicate in this uh, language, that means it's a causative. A causative is a way to tell you there. Other languages, English doesn't have this causative. How the action occurs, who is the agent behind it? There's many different uh, instrumental. Uh, it's a it's a lot. That's linguistics, of course. Those of you who decry linguistics and want to say Chinese is the hardest language in the world because. I don't know anything, and I only want to learn other languages other people talk about on YouTube, and I just don't really have the cognitive ability to understand anything else. Yeah, that's why I'm here, the power linguist. Not to win friends, not to influence detractors, but to set the record straight. That's right. So, as I have stated, hardest language in the other uh, video, this this may actually take the cake, as it were, on the hardest language for L1. I have only uh, briefly studied what are called click stop, click stop languages in Southern Africa. This is from Botswana, by the way, this language. And uh, it's not fun, and I don't like it, and I've not learned any of it. <laughs> as opposed to Amerindian Indian languages, I've actually learned some in the past. And I've not used them, so just like running a marathon, you did it 15 years ago, doesn't mean you can run a marathon now, does it? No, it doesn't. It's the same thing as a performance skill. So what's going on then with this? This is a glutent native uh, language, as I said before, and it adds prefix and suffixes. There's aspect involved. Uh, it has these massive number of consonants, I think more consonants than any other language on the planet, and uh, it has tone with these uh, clicks, and we call clicks, there's actually linguistics terms for each one of these. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't make another sound that is available in the language. They have actual linguistic terms, but that's not necessary because I don't think any of you are going to go out and learn this language. And if anyone is a speaker of this language, I'd like to see you put the video up <laughs> uh, with you doing it. I actually think I saw some guy on a TED Talk doing a yeah, but not this one. There's other click stop languages. This one's the hardest for an L2 learner. So right here, it's very short but very to the point. Those people out there are still arguing about, well, I only care about scripted languages because that's your moron and you don't know anything about linguistics. And you show your ignorance by the fact that you state, well, uh, Chinese, Hungarian, uh, Russian, they're not difficult. They're nowhere near the difficulty. This is a whole new level. All right, you're playing with kindergartners in those languages compared to this language to learn. And if you can't fathom that, you can't understand that, that's because you just don't have the experience and ability to handle it. And uh, that's why camps are forming and those sycophantic uh, 
people who are clinging to the YouTube uh, gurus <laughs> are over in their camp where they use names like 3, 4, 12, 100, Peter Pan 15 because uh, they basically play a lot of video games late at night and then they want to talk to each other about their linguophile fantasies. <laughs> anyway, so here you have it. Hardest language in the world or second hardest language in the world. You make a decision. Do some research about this language. It's, it's a mess. Uh, I'm not even going to mess with it, okay? That's, <laughs> that's how far away I'm never going to use this language. I'm never going to be in the milieu that speaks this language. And I don't see driving my heart space crazy when I've got other things to do with my life, which reminds me that some of these people, uh, they're letting themselves go <laughs> and who are linguophiles. You need to get to the gym. The Greek ideal obviously is lost on some people like Benny. And Luca, seemingly, also, uh, what's up with that, guys? Uh, gaining more weight doesn't give more weight to your arguments. <laughs> so, all right, there you heard it, short one, and I'll be back with you with some more stuff. So remember, the, the power linguist, not here to win friends, not here to influence the detractors, but here to set the record straight.